have um, a graphic that we could bring up on steps to improve bone health and going over these specific issues. So let's let's talk about it again. What does calcium and vitamin D do? Okay, so calcium is necessary for building bone and vitamin D helps us to absorb calcium. So we recommend that patients have a diet that's rich in calcium. Uh, if they're not getting adequate calcium in their diet with a target of about 1200 milligrams, then they can supplement. Uh, and with vitamin D, which we make from the sun, mm -hmm. but now we're recommending You take that, it as a supplement. Right, we're recommending patients to avoid excessive sun exposure and to use sunscreen, and so the recommended daily uh, dosage would be 800 units. There's some thinking that it should be more. Mm -hmm. I'm in that camp, uh, but the, the evidence is not there yet. We need more studies to be completed. Weight bearing and muscle strengthening exercises, this is really important. It's not just going to the gym, right. but it's using tools that will keep your bones strong. Well, weight bearing meaning that you're working against gravity. So mm -hmm. you're in a on the ground walking or dancing or aerobics, but resistance training as well to keep your muscles strong. Uh, it's also important to do exercises that promote good balance. One of the real important things as it comes to mitigating the risk around osteoporosis is reducing falls and so increasing balance and strength is important and if that. you think you are having balance issues what literal steps should you take uh, well, <laughs> to make sure that you don't have a fall right and so um, something you can do is holding on to a counter for example try balancing on one leg for a minute and then alternating to the other and then over time gradually trying to increase that.